Hello and welcome to another FDL tutorial and in this tutorial we actually will draw a line on the screen I've already set up FDL so the basic stuff uh, clearing the screen and showing what is drawn and actually I imported the put pixel function which we have made in one of the earlier tutorials so I don't have to take the time typing these things and actually if I run this program right now it just give a blank screen so we can actually work on the draw line function draw line function does, uh, so the FDL doesn't contain the draw line function by itself so we have to write it pixel by pixel and actually before I go into the actual program Programming, let me show you how this algorithm is actually working so here I open up GIMP and uh, this is your screen so these are the pixels these little squares right so we will draw a line so for example draw a line from there to here so how this algorithm will work I will demonstrate it so first of all we go to we go through a for loop all of the pixels in the X so we go this 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 and so on from the x0 which is this uh, x coordinate to the x1 which is this x coordinate and for every x we calculate the y accordingly so for example here we put a pixel right here and then this is above the half so we actually go up one and then go 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 and uh, about this so this is the basic algorithm uh, so we start from one point and then according to an uh, error we calculate the y coordinate uh, this will be this might be more understandable in the actual code okay but uh, there are a few problems uh, so let me uh, demonstrate the problem for example what if the line is not the uh, what if the line is go like this or even worse what if it is a horizontal uh, vertical line like this so in that case let me show you what uh, the algorithm would produce so first of all it will fill this up and then go to the next pixel calculate the y coordinate which is this uh, oops. and then go to the next which is this and then the next x coordinate which will be about this the next x coordinate which will be this and the next which will be this uh, oops. as you can see this is not really a line this is, these are just a few points if the case is even worse then this is a vertical line since we don't even get into the for loop or if we would get into the for loop because we use an equal sign not just a less than sign then we would just put a pixel right here so this is not a good line so what can we do here the uh, answer is quite simple uh, we first of all uh, rotate this line so we fool the algorithm and we rotate the x and the y so we change the x and the y coordinate and instead of this line we actually have a line like this this is the same line just rotated 90 degrees uh, maybe it's not a good uh, wait a little uh, so maybe it's it's like this probably so we rotate it 90 degrees by changing the x and the y coordinate of the two points the end point and the start point as well so I changed the x and the y coordinate and now we can draw a line like this uh, oops. so we draw a line like this uh, although this is a problem because that's not the line the user wanted to uh, draw so to uh, resolve that we actually whenever this happens so whenever this rotation happens whenever we draw a pixel we change the x and the y coordinate so it will be first row this and then this because we change the x and the y coordinate and uh, go upward so like this which will draw our ori original line the next problem which could occur is that we don't have a line running from the left to right but we have a line running from the right to the left like this as you can see we have a problem right here since if our for loop starts from right here and it want to go right there oh, mm, uh, so the for loop starts right here and it want to go right but the problem is that it will not even uh, we will not even go into the for loop since the x0 uh, which is this is already greater than the x1 so we cannot go right with the for loop to solve this it's uh, quite simple let me show you first of all change the x coordinate then we get a line like this and then change the y coordinate and then we get a line like this so we get the original line uh, back but instead of uh, the x so the x0 now this uh, this will be the x0 so the x0 will be on the left so we can use a for loop to go in this direction okay that was basically what i wanted to demonstrate and let's go to coding so here i will make the draw line function void draw line 
and first of all it weighs the surface, so SDL surface and the destination, so where we want to draw the line, and it weighs an x0 and an x uh, a y0 and an x1 and a y1. So the so these are basically the starting coordinates, so x0, y0 is the starting coordinate, and x1 and y1 is the uh, ending coordinate of the line. So as I said, first of all we have to determine if the line goes too much up. So if the line goes more up, like this, then it moves in the x direction, then we change the coordinates accordingly. So I make a boolean value for that, bool, and I call it step, and this step will be the x1 minus x0 is greater than y1 minus y0 and actually I should get the absolute values of these right so here I actually said that if it is goes more in the x-axis than the y-axis so change this so if it is goes more in the y-axis so more uh, the line goes more pixels up than it goes uh, to the right so in horizontally, then uh, we uh, set the step equals to true. So we know that we have to flap the coordinates. So the line, sh so the line will be like this. So we rotate it by 90 degrees, and to rotate it by 90 degrees, we just change the coordinates. So if this step variable is true, then we need to rotate the uh, so this line. And actually, I make another function which swaps two values since we need that a lot. So swap value and it swap the A and it swaps the B. Right. So make a TMP variable and as we usually make the swapping function, make the TMP equals to A, the A equals to B and the B equals to the TMP. Because these are references, the A and the B which we pass into this function will actually change. Right. So now I just swap the value of the X coordinates. So swap the x0 and y0 and the uh, swap value x1 and y1 so now I just swap the value so if it is w if the point was 10 and 5 uh, coordinate then it will be 5 and 10 coordinate uh, this is how we can rotate it alright and now the next step is to determine if the x0 if the x1 is greater than x0 so if it is uh, uh, actually opposite, so if the x0 is greater than x1, that means then our line goes from the right to the left. In that case, we swap the x, so the swap the y coordinates and swap the x coordinates. So just simple swap value and change and swap the x0 uh, uh, x1. So now the x1 will be the greater. Although in that case we don't have this line, but we actually have this line. So we have to swap the y values as well to get back our original line. So y0 and y1. Perfect. So now we should make a float variable and I call this error. You see this variable starts from 0. This error will contain that how much... Uh, so let me go back to a line. So here is a line and this error will contain uh, how precise this pixel is. So for example uh, in this case, it will probably it will start from zero. Then we get 0 0.8 because that's about the point where the line actually should be. So 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.5. So we go up a pixel, basically rounding, and always uh, adding the error and always adding the error to this variable. You will see in a moment in the practice. Then we have a variable, and I called it round error and this variable will actually store how how much the line should be go upward basically so how much this line should be go upward we get the absolute value of y1 minus y0 and we divide it by x1 minus x0 so what does it mean it basically means i think the practical example is the best so if the line uh, goes 10 pixels to the left and 10 pixels up that's pretty much mean that we have to go up every pixel so this will be a line like this so as you can see we go uh, I don't know how many pixels the 8 pixels to the left and 8 pixels to the up so uh, we so this will be 1 but if we go 
uh, 10 pixels to the left but only 5 pixels up that means that uh, this round error is 0 0.5 mean that every 0 point uh, so we add uh, let me show you so the line will be like this so every two step we go upward once like this okay and similarly for all, uh, all other values uh, I use the absolute value for the y minus y1 because we don't know if the y1 or the y0 is greater but we know that the x1 is the greater uh, because we make sure that the x1 is greater right here in this if okay and the next is just a y value so int y and this will be start from the y0 so the starting point okay and actually one more variable this is the y step variable and this y step variable is one if the line is going up so like this and minus one if the line is going down so if the line is going in this way that will be minus one so if uh, so y1 is greater than y0 so if the line is going up then this is one as it is minus one okay and now we are ready to make the while loop which actually draws the line so while oh actually a for loop as i said so for int i equal x0 i less than x1 i plus plus so in this case we just uh, go through the line in the x direction and we calculate for every x the y the y coordinate which we want to calculate so first of all let's put a pixel so put pixel and we put this pixel to the destination because that's the first parameter it's waiting so where should it be put then the x y coordinates uh, the x coordinate is this i and the y coordinate is the y we have here i will else i will increase this y in a moment and then if i remember well just the color is remaining so let's draw a white line so 255 255 255 although i said that if this uh, if these values are swept so if the step is true then whenever we draw the line we actually have to swap the x y coordinate so that's what i will do right here so make an if statement if the step is true then we will put a pixel so put a pixel but change the y and the x value else we just put a pixel to the x y all right and one last thing is remaining is to actually increase this error so error error plus equal and this round error so how much the line should go up and if this error is greater or equal than 0 0.5 so we basically say if we are above the half of the pixel uh, right here so if the line is going like this then it uh, basically said that if the current point for the x is above the half of the pixel then we actually draw the line right here in the upper pixel so we go the y up so then y plus plus so we go up one with the y coordinate and error minus equal 1.0 so now the error is minus 1.5 because uh, actually not minus 1.5 but uh, if it w was 0 0.5 the error then it will be minus 0 0.5 which is mean that the current uh, line segment is so the current pixel is above the line segment where it should be okay and i pretty much think that we are finished so let's uh, call this draw line function and check to see if it is working so here between the flip and the fill rack so the clearing the screen i will call the draw line function and go and from 10 10 to 50 and uh, 60 that is where we will draw the line if i remember destination okay i think the screen is the destination and right so here we should see a line from 10 10 to 50 60 so here i am and i attempt to compile this program and it does compile okay and uh, definitely something wrong because this is a horizontal line and uh, that's not exactly what we have wanted I think the problem should be that this is not casted to a float so we do an inte integer division which resulted uh, uh, only one and zero because uh, this should be a fraction between uh, yeah so it is uh, now a float so it will give a float result li like 0 0.3 or something but uh, if it, it 
it was an integer, so it gives uh, basically only 0 or 1. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the problem I haven't tried, but right, we have a line right there, if you can see. Now, actually, let's test this out, so if it can draw every line, and I will do that by making uh, two variables, so mx and my, which is the mouse position x and mouse position y, and let's start it from 10, 10, so just some initial initialized value, and here I will make an SDL, SDL mouse motion, so if we move the mouse, and then I set the x coordinate, then this x co variable which I have created to the current position of the mouse, so event.motion.x and the y value to event.motion.y so I basically get the xy coordinate of the cursor currently and I will draw a line to this xy coordinate so right here I will draw a line from the x, uh, mx and y coordinate so from the mouse coordinate to the center of the screen, screen which is 320 and 240 so I can test it out so that every line draws correctly right here it is so I... Uh -oh there is something problem as you can see the testing was useful so here it's working but as soon as i get here it does not so let me go back and check another error okay uh, i found one more error i actually increased the y coordinate but instead of increasing i, sh I should add the y step to it so because if the line is going down then obviously we don't want to increase the y coordinate we want to decrease the y coordinate so that was one more error and actually now let me see if it's working okay it seems that that was all of the error as you can see now every dr every line is drawn correctly so this is should uh, conclude this tutorial so thank you for watching and have a great day